Pretty scary situation, but another concern that is rising with all of this is for parents now more worried to put their kids in sports like football. But how common is it for the heart just to stop from that sudden impact? Yeah, many are speculating the reason behind Hamlin's cardiac arrest is a condition known as commotio cordis. And it's just that when the heart stops because of an impact to the chest at a critical moment during the heartbeat cycle. Is it common in football? Was it an anomaly? Caroline Peters spoke with an athletic trainer from UC Health to find out more. Caroline? Good morning. Kevin Roberts specializes in injury prevention, functional training, and responding to emergencies like commotio cordis. He says parents shouldn't have to focus on something so rare. And we're taking a look at where it can happen most. Baseball, making up the majority of that, followed by softball and then hockey. And this is all according to research done by the Journal of American Medical Association. And even though this breaks it down, the heart stopping due to impact in very short, that's very, very rare. You see health, they've been working with local schools to help keep our students safe, including District 20, D11, D49, and D2. And the partnership has a allowed school trainers to have portable AEDs on them in the event of an emergency on the field. UC Health is also offering to provide trainers to schools who need the extra hand because they have multiple sporting events. We're really trying to make sure that not only do these schools have athletic training um, at their disposal, but, but also like we talked about, the AAPs, the injury prevention programs, all the things that these athletic trainers and these schools need to make sure that the athletes are safe, not just during the event, but prior to the event. And here is what they're doing, having more athletic trainers like we talked about, coaches, parents, and athletes being educated on how to do CPR and use an AED because this can be life-saving if an emergency happens. And of those, Robert says the most important thing a school can do is have trainers in place to respond to something right then and there. And right now they're dealing with the shortage of those trainers. That is why UC has partnered with many of these school districts. Back to you.